is Dr. Long Vo. And who is Dr. Julie Dow? I believe they're with Smile Center Dental outside of Toronto in Burlington, Ontario. We did a terrific interview with both of them for our Dental Top Doc Legends program because of the innovative work in dentistry that these folks are doing up they there. They have some groundbreaking work. And you're about to see one of the questions and answers that we asked them during our interview series. And then at the end, we have a lot more for you, so you want to stay tuned all the way to the end. Special offer coming for you. A very special offer. Stay tuned. This was a difficult one, I know, when my daughter first had our first grandchild. And this was this question that comes to us is, my baby can't latch on during breastfeeding, what can I do? Okay. That's, that's a very... Uh, uh, and it's a sensitive uh, one, I know, for, yes, the, for yes, a lot for of sure. mothers. What a um, now, obviously, um, if your child cannot latch on, uh, it's important for, for your child to get the nutrition and, and the food properly, right? So if they're not latching on, we want to make sure that it doesn't affect the, your child's growth. So um, uh, by seeing a, a dentist or uh, even a doctor at that stage, early stage, uh, we, we can determine if uh, the tongue is tied down to the floor of the mouth, uh, and if it is, uh, if it's an emergency and it needs to be dealt with, and at that time, uh, if it affects the nutrition of your child, then perhaps we have to intervene and, and do the procedure. But if um, there's other ways of, of feeding, um, and uh, we can keep an eye on it until at a stage where the, the child will, uh, will be strong enough for us to, to uh, go, go ahead with the procedure and free that tongue, and that, that will really and it's not just the breastfeeding, but it affects the speech and all things. that in the future, right? But um, uh, it's, it's important that if, uh, as long as the nu nutrition is there, it's, it's okay, we have some time. But if uh, your, your child is unable to, f to feed and, and uh, doesn't get the nutrition for their, their development, because at that stage the brain is developing, the body is developing, it's, nutrition is so important at that stage. Um, but if, if uh, your child doesn't latch on, it is a priority, we need to find a way to feed your child. Well, w what you're raising to me anyway, as a new granddad, having watched my daughter go through this, uh, is that it could be something with the baby, yes. right, which is where you're raising it from that dental yeah. standpoint, and it may be something with the woman. My, my daughter happened to use, it was a fairly inexpensive breast shield that went on top and the baby could then uh, nurse directly from that and with my daughter, and it yes. worked really, really well for her, so yes. that's another part to that. And so, Dr. Julie, anything that we, uh, we else we should know or to, to add to this issue here? Well, lashing is always a eternal, constant issue when <laughs> you become a mom for a first time. I remember there used to be um, nursing clinics and um, they would be teaching us how the proper technique, um, but again, just to wear awareness that, you know, there can be some time condition related to the mouth that's preventing um, the baby to latch properly. So it's important to get it checked out. And to get, mm -hmm. can now just have it checked, right? And you know, consult. Make sure you consult your doctors and your physician, um, because you know the most important thing is the baby is the baby getting um, enough nutrition. Sure, yeah. Um, and um, you know, if if the baby does, then you know we'll look. We have time to look into that. Um, but just to wear away awareness about it, because I know when my um, my. My son didn't latch properly in the first couple of days. They thought that he might have a tongue condition related to that. Um, the nurse didn't know that we were dentists, so I could see clearly that the tongue was right. was perfectly normal. You had an advantage <laughs> there. <laughs> um, but I mean, the professional well informed about this as well. Um, so, in any doubt, just you know, consult your your physician and consult your your dentist. Oh, Dr. Mark, that's a good answer there to that question. That was terrific, but that's just the beginning. We have so much more to give you here. Where do we have more to give you here? DentalSecrets101.com. DentalSecrets101.com. What do we have there? There we have, hey, we have the entire interview that this was just one question from, but that's just the beginning. We have the Dental Secrets 101 special report. Oh, you do want to get that. That's a Absolutely. downloadable right away. You can get all these questions and answers, some new ones, some other information. Lots of information to take care of your dental health and the dental health of your family. But you're also going to get an ongoing newsletter with great tips for your dental health and taking care of your kids. But the interview is going to be terrific because it is just lots and lots of information with two dentists. And every time we add another series of these, we add it to the same thing. So you may find there's a lot more there than you even think is there. So 
If you liked this question and answer, now's the time to get even more. So click on that link that's down below, Dental Secrets 101, and get all of this plus so much more.